Hello everyone and welcome back to my final morning report analysis video on Thursday 27th of September with me which is Paymarket Analyst at Handset Markets. Looking at gold which we were looking for direction off the, the Fed last night, didn't, re didn't really get any. Um, the market was around 11.95 moving into the Fed, um, it was 11.95 after the Fed and it's now 11.95 um, the next morning. So yeah, it's basically no real direction whatsoever still on gold. Um, still trading in this range, closing below 1200 big figure, sort of gives you a mild negative bias within the range, but nothing really to do that. Um, you'd still probably think about the fact that the MACD lines are, have now converged and maybe if they start to swing lower with a bear cross that could be something to get a little bit upset about. Maybe also look at the stochastics. 40 area seems to have been sort of the, the area where you sort of consolidated and you start to 40 to 60 in that consolidation. If you start to go below 40 maybe that would suggest putting pressure on the supports of this range. But again it's sort of very limited real direction on this and here we see the hourly chart where as I said you've sort of got this pivot around 1200 and it is a relatively sort of thought about pivot. You can say that in the reaction to the Fed gold hit 1200 big big figure bang on and then fell away again. So it is obviously a resistance that the market is thinking about. 1204 was um, the resistance earlier from this week so that is uh, I suppose the initial real resistance um, and again sort of limited real direction on this but with a very slight negative bias uh, you could argue with the RSI on the hourly going below 30 and sort of failing around 60 so very slight negative bias but with nothing really that uh, you'd put the house on anyway so um, with that in mind I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.